In the Care Services Discovery, or CSD, standard, there are three main actors. The first actor is the service directory. A service directory provides information about the health system, whether that be the, the services that are being provided, the organizations that provide those services, the health facilities at which the services are, are offered, or the health workers that are posted at those facilities. The next is a service finder. A service finder is a system or a piece of software that's interested in the information contained in the service directory. It might be a system that needs to list of all the health facilities in a certain district, a list of all nurse midwives at a certain hospital, or a system that needs some aggregate information such as the number of health workers by cadre and facility. In between the systems we have a CSD info manager, uh, which is responsible for managing the various service directories for, and providing a single point of access to the service finders for uh, information about the health system. At the recent IHE Connectathon, OpenEHIE had several service directories. First two are resource map and DHS2. These had information about the health facilities and the health system. We also have IRIS, which had information about the health workers. IRIS Manage would have information about the deployment of the health workers, where they are posted to. IRIS Qualify would have information about the license and registration and certification for health workers. These systems want to make their data available to a point of service application, and they do this through the Open InfoMan. The Open InfoMan is the reference application from OpenHIE to implement the Info Manager Actor in CSD. The InfoMan is a service, um, and attached to that service, we also have the Open Him, which is the interoperability layer. It provides the security, the logging, and the other requirements of a HIE uh, as it accesses the Info Manager. The facility data that we're getting from Resource Map or DHIS2 or other similar system gets sent into the Info Manager as a document, a CSD document. At the same time, health worker data from a system such as IRIS gets sent into the Info Manager, again, as uh, CSD documents, which are cached. Uh, at the same time, we have an option for a IRIS Health Worker Registry Management Interface. This is actually a services finder, but it is allowed um, to act on any of the data CSD documents that are coming in from the uh, Health Worker um, Information Systems, the source data systems. This is an optional interface um, that can be added on With these various sources of CSD data, we need to have some way of centralizing that data to take the various facility and health worker data sources and put them into a single registry. This is the interlinked registry. Um, the actual way and manner in which the data is um, consolidated from the various data sources will be defined by the jurisdiction. It could be a simple union of the facility data and the health worker data, or there might be some more um, complicated requirements that are put into place. Um, the Open Info Man uh, is the place in which these policies are enforced. At this point in the interlinked registry, we can send a, uh, a service finder, a generic service finder will access the health facility data and the health worker data um, as a service finder via the interlinked registry. We can also make available various points of service applications to access specific uh, facility information um, or the facility registry documents without looking at the full interlinked registry. The same was, of course is true with the health worker data. One other uh, part of the CSD is the services and organizations. At this point there are no dedicated applications that manage um, service and organization within OpenHIE. Um, however, uh, DHIS2 and ResourceMap contain organizational information as well as IRIS 
particular organizational information related to the geographic or administrative hierarchy of the country. Uh, we are also in the early stages of figuring out exactly what types of service information would be useful to carry um, at the service directory level. I think we'll be seeing evolution of that over the next um, year. To give one concrete example of how this is deployed in country, we uh, look at Zimbabwe. Here we have a health professionals authority that is responsible for registering the public and private sector health facilities. We also have the Ministry of Health Zimbabwe, which has its HR management system, which provides deployment information about uh, public sector health workers. In addition, there are a number of professional councils that provide certification information for the cadres that they manage. So in the Info Manager, we have several sources of data that we need to combine. The facility registry data that is coming from the HPA, as well as the health worker data coming from the councils and the Ministry of Health uh, Social Welfare's HR system. These will be combined into an interlinked registry, as we saw before. At this point, the Zimbabwe Council can meet its uh, systems that can meet their main use case, which is to view the deployment information of health workers. Uh, they can issue a C CSD um, transaction against the interlinked registry to view the deployment information of all the health workers. Uh, the M MOHSW's HR system can also query the interlinked registry to get the license and certification information. Um, in this way, the MOHSW HR system as well as the council systems only need to access a single interlinked registry that has combined information from several services directories.